morning, everybody. Oh, you just gotta forgive me, I'm not good with uh, reading in front of crowds. <laughs> My life has been filled with love and acceptance for as long as I can remember. Unfortunately, those memories have been tarnished with racism. It was the year 2000, I was 10, when I learned what racism was. My most memorable moment from that age came when I was walking home with my brothers. Keith, who was 17, and Sean, who was 13. We were walking from my mom's, my mom's job, which was basically originally in Berkshire, here in Oak Park, to Franklin and North Avenue, River Forest. We had made that walk plenty of times before without any issues. Now, mind you, my dad's wife worked just a couple blocks into River Forest, and we had been over there a few times before. We were no strangers to the area, and we moved like it. We went to school in River Forest, we played in River Forest, we even walked to the Dominex that used to be right there on North Avenue, because it was so close. But this day was different, it felt heavy. I don't know if it was because we looked too comfortable or too happy, but this day had been, uh, this day we had been stopped by the police. The cop who I couldn't picture if I had to stopped and asked us what we were doing. We told him we were on our way home from our mother's job in the park. I guess that answer didn't suffice. The officer had put us in the back of his squad car and one by one questioned us outside the car. Unlike my brothers, I was super emotional and I cried the entire time. I wholeheartedly believe that my obvious fear helped us get out of that situation without any more issues. The officer informed us that we were stopped and questioned because a homeowner had seen us looking into cars and going into yards. The yard that we had allegedly went through uh, just so happened to be right across the street from my dad's wife's job. The officer at the time essentially scolded us. As an adult, I know this now, but it, it, is, uh, it is illegal to question minors without a parent or legal guardian present. But these, these were facts that we didn't know as kids at the time. The officer asked us for our mother's name and number. We found out later he did nothing with that information because my mom had no knowledge of what happened until my crybaby self told her about it when she got home that night. The officer had us waiting for a little longer. It felt like he had just had us on display, almost to make a point or an example out of us. As, uh, as he was letting us go, he advised us not to stop anywhere while we walked home, which we didn't in the first place. Uh, he told us if we continue to go through yards, um, we, would be, we would be in more trouble the next time around. See, this all happened between Ashland and Franklin on Greenfield in River Forest, which is uh, the backside of the elementary school I went to. Uh, once we were released, I'm almost positive that I cried the whole way home, about three blocks, and probably more once I was there. My brothers, on the other hand, were clearly upset. See, at the time, I was still a happy, blissful kid, blind to the injustice of the world, still blind to racism, let alone upper-class race, upper class urban racism. From that day forward, I moved differently. My walls got higher, I had a chip on my shoulder. I didn't feel safe uh, or secure anymore. I was living in a home, I was living in my home, but once I left the door, the front door, I was an outsider in my own neighborhood. Thank you. 